Hi there, so as I have your attention, I thought I'd run through a couple of alternatives that I use when I'm looking at the Rule 1 Composed. And this is one of these things, again, this is really, really, this is mind games. This is ways that I assess whether what I'm doing is correct and hopefully keep a mind open to constantly changing and improving what we're doing. So where I'm trying to go at the moment, this is a little bit what I was looking at on the previous run through on the concept, as I say. Now, this time all we're doing from this point is we're coming, we're kind of ignoring the uh, the right angle that we used in the first one. We're using this as a counterpoint. However, now what I'm going to do is I'm not just going to walk forward like so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cross my step slightly like so, and then I'm going to open my step out. And I'm going to do this on both sides so that both uh, techniques are going to basically be long edge techniques. So that what we'll have here is we'll have our rising Tahoe, our Alta Bajo now is going to come across like so, and then from that point, cut again with this action here. So that you end up with a one, two, three action. Okay? Now, this means that the reversed position is going to give us a slightly different action. So, again, when we switch to the other side here, this time, again, cutting with our true edge, we're going to cut and we're going to step in with our left foot here, then we're going to roll past and we're going to do a reversed alto bajo. Okay, and then again from the same point here, again, step again with a cross step. Okay, so this gives us the high position in front of our face. One, it gives us the cut down with the alto bajo, and this makes it a main side, it makes it a proper Tahoe type alto bajo. Okay. And then from here, again, just rolling and stepping completely into that same position again, okay? Then from the crossed position on the other side, here, like so, here, crossing again, here, rolling past the left arm to cut down two, and then again from that same position with the step like so, okay? Now, I appreciate it's a little bit dark. Hopefully you could see some of that. If it is of interest to you, I will try and film that again in sunlight. But basically this gives us a reason to be kind of cutting counterintuitively. So really when you're here, you want to cut up and you want to roll here. And it's quite a stiff action. Whereas if I'm cutting through with this step across and then I let the arm roll and I snap the cut down, it comes quite tight. And then again, rolling in. So that side works very, very comfortably when I'm doing my left. Again, stepping into the action, rolling, snapping across here, and then again, from that same position, just cutting up again, okay? So this gives us a much more predatory way of using this. It's not just going forwards, it's cutting into the line, then swamping, swamping, swamping. So I hope this is of interest to you. I will keep popping up little things to make you think rather than concentrating on a I am right. Let's look at things that we can potentially change and move forward with. Excellent. Have a great evening. Take care.